Today we were able to unveil the latest addition to our firearms range. We received funding um, through the FBI. They provided us with $100,000 through our partnership that we've been involved with for the past 14 or 15 years. And this is their latest upgrade. The $100,000 went into a brand new targeting system. This targeting system is one that's completely wireless, completely controlled by a tablet for our firearms instructors. The tablet is basically the operating system as you would see on the computer that's up in our control tower. You can either run it from a firearms instructor in the control tower from the computer, or you can then integrate the tablet into the computer system and work it from the firing line. It just gives us the latitude of putting more firearms instructors on the range instead of having them stay in the tower with the computer system. So if we want to turn point two and point six for a half a second while we're turning point eight and point 12, for two seconds, we can do that. We're basically testing the officers or training the officers in target identification, in shooting skills, not only point and shoot, make sure you're hitting your target within the specified location, but it allows us to change it up, give them a little bit more stress for a half a second, give them a longer period of time where they need to continue to shoot until the, the target is eliminated. So it gives us that latitude. This range is actually open for use by local, state, and federal partners. We've had the Department of Commerce, ICE, Thermont PD, Brunswick PD, Rockville City, Gaithersburg City, Bethesda Chevy Chase, they come out here and they use the range. We do charge a small amount of money for the use of the range, which maintains the upkeep and that type of um, upgrades in the, in the range, and also the remediation of the lead. Um, the feedback's been phenomenal. They, they really like the system. They like the programmability of it. The firearms instructors can run different layouts, not only for qualification, but for tactical shooting. So the feedback's been pretty good. The last system was installed in 1999. Over the last 14 years, it's required a lot of money for upkeep, you know, re repair of the stanchions, which actually held the targets, repair of the pneumatic system, this was just, we were able to upgrade the system and provide a better resource for our officers.